Intramuscular injection. An intramuscular injection is a shot of medication that is administered into a muscle. IM injection are used when other types of delivery methods are not recommended. The IM injection may be used instead of intravenous injection or any other. It's because some drugs are irritating to veins or because a suitable vein cannot be located. Now, when giving IM injection, you need to consider the following. Number 1. Injection site. Number 2. Needle size. Number 3. Injection technique. Number 4. Drug absorption. Now, let's start with injection site of IM. The injection site it depends with the patient's age, size and the volume of medication for adults and adolescents over 12 the deltoid muscle is the preferred site and for children over 12 months and under 12 years the deltoid or underlateral thigh can be used number two you need to consider needle size the size of needle depends on the person's weight but most adults will need a one inch needle the needle should be long enough to reach the muscles without penetrating the nerves and blood vessels underneath. So they will be 22 gauge to 25 gauge thick, noted as 22G on the package. Now, what about injection technique, which is number three? Wash your hands. Wash your hands with a soap and water to prevent potential infection, and be sure to thoroughly scrub between your fingers or the backs of your hands and under your fingernails. Then you gather all the needed supply, needle and syringe with medication, alcohol pads, gears, bandages. Then you locate the injection site. You need to hold the muscles around the injection site with your thumb and index finger. Then you clean the injection site, use an alcohol swab and allow the skin to air dry. Then you prepare the syringe with medication. So here, you need to remove the cup, draw air into the syringe, insert air into the vial, withdraw the medication. Make sure that you have turned the vial and syringe upside down so that the needle points upward and pull back on the plunger to withdraw the correct amount of medication. Then remove the air bubbles. Here you need to tap the syringe to push the any bubbles to the tap and gently depress the plunger to remove the air bubbles out. Now, after doing that, you need to hold the needle well and insert it into the muscle at 90 degree angle. So you should insert the needle in quick but control your manner. Then you inject the medication, push the plunger slowly to inject the medication into the muscle, remove the needle, withdraw the needle quickly and discard it into a puncture resistant sharp container then apply pressure to the injection site you need to use a piece of gas to apply light pressure to the injection site so that it can help the medication to be absorbed into the muscle 